guys, welcome back to Elvis Car Reviews. I hope that every single one of you is having a beautiful day. In today's video, we're gonna talk about if I should get another EcoBoost Mustang. Now, as many of you know, I've ordered a 2024 Ford Mustang Dark Horse, and uh, I don't know how long it's gonna take. I don't know if I'm gonna get it before car season start. I don't know if I'm gonna get it before April because if you, you know, if you remember, I entered America versus the world drag racing event April 14th in Maryland. Thanks God I'm bringing the Hellcat Red Eye, but after that I will need to do some racing and you know, I need some content for my channel. Unfortunately, I don't know when I'm gonna get my dark horse. It might come in May, June, July, or toward the end of the year, I really don't know. So I was thinking maybe I need another Mustang in between before my Mustang dark horse comes. So I was thinking about getting, originally thinking about getting a 2013 Mustang GT or maybe a 2016, 2017 Mustang GT or a Mach 1. And then I was like, uh, I started my channel with a EcoBoost Mustang, with an EcoBoost Mustang. That's my very first car for the, my YouTube channel. And till this day, regardless or despite the, all the cars that I've gotten for my channel, if I group them together, my EcoBoost Mustang are the one with the more views. And up until today, I still get comments and DM on Instagram from people who have EcoBoost Mustang asking me for advice, asking me for mods, and asking me for, you know, how to do this and this and that. I don't know if I've sold my Mustang prematurely, my EcoBoost Mustang prematurely, but you guys know what happened. I was in an accident in Canada. I took it for repair. They never repaired it right. The car had some frame damage, so I had to get rid of it. Uh, it was against my will. Um, you know, if I had a choice, I would have kept my EcoBoost Mustang till this day. So now I'm asking you guys, I'm about, and I'm seriously considering getting a car before my dark horse comes because so I want to get a car in between just to keep the content going beside the Hellcat Red Eye because this channel is a Mustang channel and it will stay that way. Occasionally I will feature the Hellcat Red Eye races and stuff like that, but I want to keep this channel as a Mustang channel. So let me know guys, what do you guys think? Should I get another uh, EcoBoost Mustang? Should I get a Mustang GT in between? Or should I just wait for my dark horse to come? And a little backstory for why I bought the, uh, why I bought the EcoBoost Mustang. It's actually funny. I remember the day I went to the dealership to test drive the EcoBoost Mustang. I was so worried that we'd be making a bad choice that I test drove a 2012 or 2013 Chevy Camaro SS Transformer Edition. I mean, that thing was awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Like it was the sound, the drive, it was incredible. But it was a 2013. Test drove a 2013 Mustang GT. I mean, I test drove cars that were priced the same as my brand new EcoBoost Mustang. So my, I bought my EcoBoost Mustang back in 2016 or 2017. No, back in 2017, it was a 2016 model that didn't sell the year before. So it was sitting on the lot and they discounted it to like $27,000 or 26. So I test drove like three twenty-six thousand dollars just to make sure I wasn't making a bad choice. So I test drove a 2013 Camaro SS Transformer Edition. I loved it. The sound, the drive, it was incredible. Six-speed manual because, you know, save the manual and I'm all about that. And then I test drove a 2013 Mustang GT with a six-speed manual. I loved it as well. But for some reason, I got drawn to the EcoBoost because I wanted to be the underdog. I was like, I mean, it's a 2016 EcoBoost Mustang, uh, makes 310 horsepower. At that time, there weren't a lot of people with the EcoBoost Mustang, plus the only other person I knew that had the EcoBoost Mustang and was making content about it was Stang Mode. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get the EcoBoost Mustang. Every, there's already a bunch of channel with Camaro SS, Mustang GT, not if not a lot with uh, EcoBoost Mustang. So I went for the EcoBoost Mustang and then I wanted to put my name out there. So what I did, I called out a bunch of people. I people. 
I remember I called out a guy with a uh, 2003 Mustang GT. He had a Kenny Bell supercharger on his Mustang. I went to race him, he destroyed me. I called out a friend of mine, Andrew, uh, from Rochester, who had a 2014 Dodge Challenger RT. He was stuck at the time. I went there, he destroyed me. And I called, uh, called out like three more people with Mustang GTs that just beat me and it was crazy. So what I did is I ordered a Ford Performance Pack and uh, I pretty much tuned my car, just the Ford Performance Pack with a set of uh, MBRP cat back exhaust. And then I went back to race everybody that uh, I lost against and I beat them all. It was incredible, I beat them all. And my most satisfied victory was against my buddy's Andrew 2014. Uh, Dodge Challenger RT because I lost to him with a huge like a huge gap and I was so pissed about it and then when I tuned my car Ford Performance and then MBRP tune I spent less than two thousand dollars I believe on the EcoBoost Mustang and I destroyed that RT <laughs> Well done. And then I beat a stock Mustang GT and then so you know that car made me kind of the underdog king and I loved it. I really loved the attention. Everybody was like, oh, it's an EcoBoost. Oh, you can actually be this fast and every till this day I still get comments from people that own EcoBoost Mustang and hit me up and say, you know, how do I do this with my car? What is reliable? What is not reliable? And, you know, as many of you know, the EcoBoost isn't also the most reliable car out there, especially the first two years, 2015 and 2016. Some of them tend to have like the EcoBoom uh, issue, you know, tend to blow up the engine, but if you don't man maintain it properly. So now with the new 2024 Mustang, there is a new EcoBoost Mustang. And I'm, you know, I mean, to be honest with you, for me, it's overpriced. The new EcoBoost Mustang is overpriced. Paying that much money for EcoBoost, I think uh, you're better off getting a used one. Or wait, you know, maybe one year or two until it drops down in price before you can buy it. So I'm asking you guys, should I get, I, I need a Mustang in between because again, I don't know um, how long my dark horse belt will take. Um, I've spoken to a friend of mine who lives in Las Vegas. He ordered his dark horse back in uh, November, uh, no, December of 2023 and still haven't heard anything. Uh, I mean, he has his V number already, but you know, there's still nothing. And then I ordered mine less than a month ago. So, so I don't know if I'm gonna get the car or not. Let me know in the comment section below, guy. Please, I need your help. Let me know in the comment section below. If I should get a car between now uh, and uh, when my dark horse will arrive, or if I should just wait for my dark horse to arrive. But if you guys decide that I should get a car, let me know in the comment section below if I should get another EcoBoost Mustang, if I should get a Mustang GT, or if I should just wait uh, until my dark horse get here. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you are stopping by for the first time, do not forget to subscribe and I'll see you on next upload. Thank you.